Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So far we have completed Laravel multi-authentication system, but here you can see if we log in as admin uh, and if we log in as user, we are in the same dashboard, right? So we should create a separate admin dashboard uh, so that admin can actually directly go to the admin dashboard and no one can access the admin dashboard. So how to do this? So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can actually create a separate admin panel first of all we have to actually go to the code editor and here uh, we have to go to the config folder here you can see our uh, config and then fortify.php and here if you scroll down a little bit here you can see uh, we have home uh, name here and we have a url and that is dashboard so this is for the home dashboard right now let's go to the web.php i mean in the routes then web.php and here you can see uh, this is the welcome page and this is the uh, dashboard right okay so we have here a route dashboard name uh, and that is for the uh, all user dashboard right after authentication here you can see uh, we have a middleware here and after that uh, I mean when the authentication will be done it will actually go to the common dashboard now let's create a separate dashboard for the admin so for this I'm going to create um, one thing is here you can see we have returned the view from here so we don't actually want to do this because we want to create a controller for this and from the controller we will return the view because we have to actually check that the user is admin or uh, normal user okay so for this I'm going to create a controller at first so to create a controller we have to go to the terminal and here we have to say php artisan make colon controller in the controller name let's say user controller user controller press enter and it will create a controller now let's go to the app then http then controller and we have user controller here and what we have to do we have to go to the web.php and here we have to import the user controller to access user controller okay so here we'll say app backslash http actually i'm giving here the path so our controller is inside http then controllers right and then our controller name is user controller here you can see that's it now what we'll do is uh, we'll go to the uh, i mean we'll actually remove this function from here we are actually uh, we'll say here that okay uh, go to the user controller colon colon class and target a function and the function would be let's say index or i will say let's say home so let's go in the user controller and here i'm going to create a function and that will be public function home here i'm going to check the user is admin or normal user so to do this i need to actually check the authentication I mean auth class so to import auth class we have to say use illuminate auth but we have uh, two more paths and one is support sorry and then backslash uh, facet and then auth and now we can actually uh, check through auth that if auth colon colon id I mean it will check that if the user is logged in so if the user is logged in then uh, the user uh, should have an id right okay and i will check one more condition and that is auth colon colon user so auth will by default actually search for the user class i mean user table okay so we will actually check that our user table column type is i mean column name is user type right if i go to the database here you can see our column name is user type so i'm going to say here is if user type is equal to uh, let's say admin then it will actually go to the admin control panel okay on the other hand uh, we'll actually check one more condition if uh, i'll say here else if okay else if else if uh, user type is user then it will actually go to the admin uh, control panel okay so from here i will uh, return 
a view and that will be for the admin so admin i will say here return view and then i will say admin dot dashboard uh, sorry dashboard and here i will say return view and from here i will say dashboard if i go to the resources here you can see in the views we have uh, here dashboard right here you can see so i'm going to copy this and i'm going to paste it inside uh, the admin dashboard so i haven't actually create the admin dashboard so i have to go to the views and here i will create admin folder so admin and inside admin folder i will create separate dashboard for the admin here the name will be dashboard dot blade dot php and here i will paste it and i will say admin dashboard admin dashboard all right now it will uh, go to the admin dashboard so let's check if it is working perfectly now i'm going to log out login as admin so login and it should go to the admin dashboard url is same but it's in the admin dashboard here you can see and uh, now let's go back to the code and here i'm going to remove uh, so this is the dashboard and uh, actually i want to remove this you don't need to show it and then if i go to the user dashboard and then um, we will actually remove it also so now you can see we have separate dashboard right for the admin and for the user now if i go to the uh, use i mean let's log in as a normal user here you can see dashboard so here you can see this is the admin dashboard but we haven't actually uh, i mean we have nothing in the admin dashboard so i'm going to integrate a template admin template so in our next video i will show you how you can integrate admin template in admin dashboard so that's it thank you so much for watching